is strong and mighty. Your name is glorious and great. In Him we are saved. The name of Jesus, I
So I appreciate you. Well, at least you are here this morning. The Lord will bless you. In the name of Jesus. Anywhere we go and they accept us, we appreciate a lot. Because I know it's a real privilege that may not be given to everybody. We have never met before. You don't know me. And I don't know you, but we are knowing ourselves now. And today, by the grace of God, there was a prayer I was supposed to pray yesterday. Anywhere we, we have been at so many universities for crusades, and we have used to pray that prayer. I remember when we were mobilizing before our school uh, stopped us. We gave us some prayer form. Was he distributed here? Nobody spoke about it since I came. Do you still have your own? Not everybody is answering. You have. Let me see your hand. You know, when we came here, we were supposed to have had this crusade before the strike. Am I right? Then we used to print some prayer leaflets where you write your prayer points, what you want God to do for you. And then we pray. Because behind answer, there is a power that holds that thing bound. And it takes the anointing to break that power. And so when we pray, no matter what you put on paper, God will always answer. But without prayer point, I will pray for you this morning. And the Lord will answer that prayer. And then I said, I promised you here for a special prayer today, that when you leave this university, shout hallelujah. God is raising up an army all over the nation. That we take, you see, if you read, you read history, the whole world was in the same level of technological development in 1400. Until revival began from Europe to America to the Western world, and the technological development was following the revival. There is nothing that, that nothing good that come from anywhere except from God. So as we pray this morning, the Lord will open your we open your we open you up to spirit of creativity and the spirit of innovation. So our president, our going president, am I right? God bless you. We appreciate your cooperation. And um, your team that have been working together throughout the tenor. And uh, we want to appreciate the incoming one too. God bless you and everybody. Shall we pray together? Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you because you have been with us since we started this uh, program. This is a special one. And Lord, I pray that today you will prove your power. You prove the power in your name, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I'm asking that the word will come out, 
not as letters, but as anointed word. Let the word become spirit in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Bless your people today. Remove every problem. Remove every obstacle. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Yeah. Thank you, good day, man. Yeah. Yes, sir. I'll be giving the subject of this morning what to preach about. And I will do that exactly. But like I said during the crusade, that as we move from place to place, we have discovered that um, majority of people are given to emotion. We did that when we were young. Majority of people are given to emotions and the word of God is suffering. And there is nothing God will do outside his word. You read a story in the Bible in Luke chapter 11. Jesus told us that when the evil spirit is gone out of a man, Maybe at the point of conversion, at the point of deliverance, at the point of a miracle. When the evil spirit is gone out of a man, he will go through dry places and not finding rest. He will come back to where he has gone out. And when he comes back and he find it empty. He find it empty, nothing inside. Then he will go and invite several more powerful demons than himself to occupy the place. So that's why we see that the best you can do for yourself is to make sure you feed with the word of God. So many Christians are empty. There are deliverances that are not necessary that people are doing. Which is as a result of their spiritual emptiness. When somebody is empty, there is no prayer that can help that person. So that's why I preach anywhere I go. And I want to appreciate, even on the crusade ground, you are listening, you, you listen to my long sermon. Even today, I know you have so many things to do. I will try to cooperate. God bless you. They say I should preach about the wonderful name of Jesus. Am I right, sir? Okay. Wave your hand to that name. Shout hallelujah. I know if we want to speak about this name, a whole day preaching, everything, and everything is in the name of Jesus Christ. But I take my text from a passage we all know in the the book of Philippians chapter 2. Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5 to verse 12. Let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus who been in the form of God Taught it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in the fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore, God also has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. That are the name of what? Every knee should bow and every everything should bow of the things in heaven, of the things on earth and of the things under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. We are for my beloved, my beloved, 
as he has always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. There is power in the name of Jesus. Even the common man on the street who has never been to a church know that there is power in this name. Even the enemy of God they know that there is power in the name of Jesus. Power to do anything. Power to do all things. That power is in that name. I want to tell you this morning, many of us, because of our ignorance about this power, we mention this name without anything happening. Because everything in this kingdom is by faith. And faith comes by knowledge. And so if you don't have the knowledge of the power in this name, you can sing it, you can mention it, you can say it, there may, nothing may happen. That's why I want to share very briefly about three things about this power and about this name. Number one, the, that name of is in prophecy. It had been prophesied before it was born. Then number two, I show you the power. What the name can do. You know many of it, but I will mention few. What the name of Jesus can accomplish in our life, in your life, through you, through me. And finally, the personalities for this, for the name of Jesus. Number one, the prophecy. Number two, the power in that name. Number three, the personality. That is you and me that should mention this name. If we don't talk about the personalities, that's why you find out that not everyone that mentions this name have results. Am I right? There are those who shout it and nothing works for them. But in your case, after the meeting of today, anywhere you mention the name of Jesus, any for you. I read Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. The prophecy fulfilling name of Jesus. The book of Isaiah had been written about 700 years before Jesus was born. Shout hallelujah. Prophecy is one thing that confirms the that the word, this Bible is the word of God. So many religions in the world have their own various books. But there is no book that is like the Bible. Shout hallelujah. There is only one point you can use to prove it. That this Bible is the word of God. When the Bible was written, about one fifth of the Bible was in prophecy. About 20% was in prophecy. Many of the prophecies have been literally fulfilled. That is one singular proof that this Bible is different from your chemistry book. That is one singular proof that shows that this Bible has is the word of God. And so we see here how this book has been written more than 700 years before Jesus was actually born to fulfill the prophecy. Look at verse 6. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. 
and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called what? Wonderful. Two. Counselor. Three. Mighty God. Everlasting Father. Through his prophet has told the whole world that a child will be born. It's like somebody carrying a binocular to look at far distance. It was a prophetic binocular. And he saw the child Jesus born in Bethlehem. And he also saw that the son was given, he was offered on the cross. And he now told us something peculiar about this son. He said he will be mighty God, he will be everlasting father, and his name shall be wonderful, wonderful, wonders, full. In other words, full of what? Wonders. Shout hallelujah. That is the prophecy behind that name. Tell me, most of the names of religions today, which one have been prophesied before? And they have said that somebody will be coming, will be this and this, except the name of Jesus. Shout hallelujah. And so when Jesus came, he came to fulfill that prophecy. And we have one in Matthew chapter 1 verse 21. When the angel was speaking to Mary, 21. And shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name, give me, Jesus. For he shall save his people. That's a prophecy. He shall call his name, Jesus. And so we see that the name was in prophecy. And when he was born, that name was given. But the name had been given hundreds of years before this time. That this name shall be full of wonders. It shall be a name that will be above every other name. That is not like any other names. It shall be a name that will drive demons into, drive demons away from people. And so we see that the name of Jesus is a name that I'll be given. And I want to tell us here, many of us, we don't know even Jesus. If you want to know Jesus, there are three things to know about Jesus. Number one, you must know, know the pre-existence of Jesus. That he had been existing before he was born. We are told in John chapter 1 verse 1. In the beginning, what? Was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. He has pre-existed before he was born. He told the Jews, he said, before Abraham was, I am. He had been from the deathless eternity past with the Father. He has no beginning. And he has no end. And so, God gave him that name, Jesus. And when he was born, he was given that name, Jesus. So we can see the prophecy fulfilling name. Keep that one in your mind. And then we look at number two, the power in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't think there's anyone here who has never experienced the power in that name. If you are born again, you are here, you have already experienced the power in that name. If at any time you have prayed in the name of Jesus and the prayer has been answered, you have experienced the power in the name of Jesus. If at any time you have been healed or you have been delivered or something happened to you, you have experienced the power in the name. But let me just mention a few ones here about the power in the name of Jesus, that will help you to appreciate the power in the name of Jesus. Number one is that the power in the name of Jesus is the power of the person bearing that name. You are not hearing me. The power in that name is the power of the person Bearing is the name. 
I don't know the name of our president here. If I call his name now, let's say he's inside the room, and I say, uh, brother so and so, what will he do? He will answer. Am I right? Then he will appear. Is that right? Everyone is answerable to his name. So if you have that at the Amen. You have that one at the back of your mind when you are praying. That is not just ordinary name. There is a person behind the name. Are you hearing me over there? When you say Jesus, it's not just how many letters? Five? It's not just five letters. That they said, you should carry the knife to cut the cake. Give me J, J, Give me E. It's not like that. There is a person behind that name. There is a person that bears that name. So, the power in that name is the power that flows from the person that bears the name of Jesus. Shout hallelujah. So, when you kneel down and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, Jesus showed up. He showed up. Jesus told his disciples after resurrection, he said, all power, both in heaven and on earth, have been given unto me. All pa- that is the person behind the name. All power. Say all power. My coming, I didn't come to share much of revelation. Because I know we didn't have time. But the point, the fact is that Satan is being celebrated too much today. Because we don't have the knowledge of the Bible. Satan has got no power. Listen. The power he took from Adam, he lost it at Calvary. No, go and read your Bible. Wait. After Calvary, you don't see the name, the power of Satan mentioned. No. The only thing you hear is that he said, um, the Bible says that finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on you'll be able to stand against the wise of the devil. He didn't say again the power of the devil. He lost the power at Calvary. Shout hallelujah. Because after Jesus had conquered the devil on the cross and he was buried and he rose from the dead, he now came to declare all power, both in heaven and on earth, have been given unto me. If you read it for it, go ye therefore as a result of the power that I delegate to you in my name. Shout hallelujah. The first way of knowing the power in the name is to look at the person that bear the name. Number two. The name is full of wonders. Chapter 9 verse 6. He said, unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given, offered on the cross. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be what? Called what? Wonderful. The English wonderful me that full of wonders. One thing that we distinguish the name of Jesus from every other name. Call it any other deity as they call it. Call it anything. One thing that will differentiate this name from other is that this name will be full of wonders. Anywhere it is mentioned, there must be wonder. The name will be a wonder producer. The name will be a wonders manufacturer. Wonders. And may I decree and declare that in your life this morning there will be wonders. 
Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Was to visit a man that was dying. Brother Lazarus. He was gasping. The moment he entered into the room, the man gave up. And he heard it. The spirit said, don't pray. Just mention the name of Jesus seven times. Jesus. 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 At the seventh time of mentioning that name, the glory of the Lord filled the house. Filled that room. And the man jacked back to life. The glory was like a smoke. And the glory was moving downstairs. There was a sister of that man that um, was mentally healed. Who had uh, just been taken from asylum. The glory fell on her. And madness disappeared. Just at the mention of the name of that is full of wonders. That's the power in this name. And it's one thing today that other religion, other faiths, they cannot argue it. They know. If they want our miracle, they will come to our meeting and forget their religion and sneak inside to collect because they know the name of their own cannot produce anything. But this one is full of what? Wonder. It's beginning from your life from this morning. Number three. Only by this name men can be saved. Look at Acts of Apostles chapter 4. If I'm reading Bible and you are not reading Bible, I know you are those who are not at the crusade. I will just admit that you are not there. If you are there, you will open Bible and you will read Bible. Acts of Apostles chapter 4 verse 12. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we can be saved. No name can save outside the name of Jesus. No name can be saved by the name of Jesus. Save by religion. Christianity has no place. Because there are people of other faiths that are not committed and more senior than us, more you know, serious than us, no more what is it? For the truth is this: no enemy on that end can give salvation outside the name of God. Jesus, not even the name of God. No one Through this man can be saved. Outside the name of Jesus. That means it is the one that gives us salvation. And we are ready today in Matthew chapter 1 verse 21. He said, His name shall be called Jesus before he shall save his people from death. Are you still with me right here? Matthew 1 verse 21. He said, He shall not give what? Jesus. And He shall save His people in their sin. You are not here anymore. You are not here anymore. I think it's all over there for the last time. But today I go. You must hear what I'm saying. I'm quoting that scripture to you. Matthew 1 21. There is something I want to bring out there. That's how I'm emphasizing. He said, and he shall call his name for Jesus. I'm not getting it. He shall save his people. What? Huh? Why is it then that you are not free from sin? He shall save his people from their sin. That is one mission of Jesus Christ. He came to save us from us. When you say, thank God and say, save from what? If you are saved from nothing, then you are not saved. You must be saved from something. Shout hallelujah. You must what? You are not cooperating again. You must be saved from what? That's 
before you get to me. And if you see somebody that is saved, you will know. And what the Bible says, he, every man, be where? They become what? Then what happens to the new creature? All things are the new creature. All things are the new So, only by that name we can be saved. He said, huh? the righteous run inside that day. And the righteous run near me. And it's what? That is so what you see your step. The name of the Lord is his own power. You know what it is all about. In those days, um, in the old days, every city is safe. There are friends around every city. And at every distance, they will do a tall building, they call it tower. And at this tower, there will be watchmen on it, watching over the city. So the Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong power, not the weak one. Not the one that can easily pull down. That when a righteous man finds his habitation in this way, then the Bible says he is saved. He is protected. So the name of Jesus is a protection. But don't forget that scripture. Who wrong inside this town? Now, there are two kinds of righteousness. I know you know that too. Shout hallelujah. One, a good person. That Christ put on me. That Christ put on you. No one can be born again by his own righteousness. Because all our righteousness are like two people. Am I saying correct? The Bible says he became saved for us. So that we can become the righteousness of God in him. So, he pulled our saved from himself. He put us his own righteousness and put it on us. That's also. Number two. Is implanted righteousness. This is where the beauty of the world. All of us are listening. We dwell on that implanted righteousness alone. Even if you are doing all of our righteousness, it doesn't matter. I'm close by this righteousness. You miss it. There is an implanted righteousness. I have to tell you the truth in the You read first John chapter 3, verse 7. He said, Let no, he said, little children, let no one deceive you. He that do it. That's the thing, but I don't know what you want to have to say. You pray, smart students, you hope to do it. He that do it. Why? There's a doing part of my life. Do it, 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 it's all righteousness in you, so that you can do the work of righteousness. You can do righteousness in you. We are not talking about those who are fornicating and saying, I'm clothed by your righteousness. You are deceiving yourself. Shout hallelujah. So the name of the Lord is the strong tower. The righteous run inside and in faith. Is protected. So then there are bad news. Somebody had an accident. Somebody died. He said, so you oh, as if for one to be. Somebody was a hand and hand off. He began to get different kind of stories. But the name of Jesus is a strong power. He's a protection. We are in a place where we know the power 
in the name of Jesus, we can disarm and of us. Let's go on with the time. What do I have now? The name of Jesus, our text. There are two points from there. He says, God has given a name that is the end of the truth. That is our boss. Every other name. So, there is part in the name of Jesus. That name is our boss. Every other name. Some of the things I'm telling you is not one of your spirit days. The truth of that name is our boss. Every other name. The name is our boss. What? Hey, the name is a God. What? What does it mean? Begin to remember the name that is scaring people. The name that is making people to their set of days. The name people are saying, eh, they have said that they are in the village. Some people, they say it's not come to the village to the next three months. And you cannot go. You cannot have a say there. They have to have a say there. Somebody is still a prophet who has told you that somebody is pursuing you and somebody is pursuing the child of God. Where the Bible says, the name of the Lord is the son of God and the person of God is God. And is covered and is protected. Shout hallelujah. Yeah. God gave a name that is above every other name, whether Roman or demon, above every other name. That's what it is. So if you understand the revelation behind the name, it doesn't matter who is advancing or not. Look at the name. Everything that is advancing to us has a name. Eh? Yes. 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 Not that you have to do that with Whether age or personality, woman, demon, he has to do And the joy is that the name of Jesus is about all the yes. 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 So many ladies, I am that for it. I am this, I am that. Nonsense. Yes, it is. I am not lost. I am not lost. I am not lost. I am not lost. That's the second part of it. And that way, every day should be back. That's one thing simply means every one of the souls to the name of Jesus. Everything is for me to Every, every need means Everything that I've been starting against you, the 
Jesus for me. I pray that for me. In the name of Jesus. This is not the best. Your practical conflict is the same. On the truth, in the very least. On the things we ask. On the things we say. It's like one wind bird. Have you ever seen a bird that fly with one wing? It's not doing like this. Have you ever seen one? At the back, are you hearing me? You have seen a bird fly with one wing? I said, Lord, what is the meaning? He said, this generation, the emphasis is on praises. The emphasis is on dancing. Now I ask you, 
Do you know what? I've tried it and it has worked when I was a student so many years ago. If the church can pray the way they pray, that is just if the church can pray the way they pray. Look at it, oh. Paul and Silas, they. Yeah, you can't talk now. He's pricking your conscience. Paul and Silas, they. They sang. It, it was not the other way around. Our own is the other way around. In fact, we sing and sing and sing and sing and sing and sing and sing. And sing, and sing. Wake up in the morning, sing. Powerless singing. Singing without anointing. Is somebody hearing me? So, because of that, the church doesn't have answer to the suffering of ordinary man on the street. Our generals go and ask from them that your father went through. Get your first degree, second degree, your PhD, and then begin to lecture until you are qualified to become a professor. But as you just pick your father's certificate and say, My father was a professor, they are my, then you are a thief. If they arrest you, they will jail you. So I'm just simply telling if nothing happened to you, if you are not safe from anything, he said, I was a nice person before. Uh, I was from a Christian family. I'm nice. I never smoke. I never drink. In our house, we don't. We are not allowed to chase guests. And uh, I'm a, I'm a child. No, God must save you from something. He shall save His people from their sin. There must be something that you are doing that you cannot begin to sing. Uh, sing the song. Things are different now. Something happened to me when I gave my life to G. Shall we rise up now? I said it at the crusade. The Lord have anointed me to destroy yokes. Principally, the yoke of sin. Forget about miracle. Miracle will happen just now. But let's say to the main, the main. If you are not converted, you are not saved. I want you to respond this morning so that I can pray for you, so that Jesus can enter into your heart. Wherever you are. What is the acid text? If you know you are not free from sin, then you are not saved. You know you are here, you are not free from sin. You are not saying all form of sexual perversions. You see, I've tried, but I cannot I cannot restrain myself. The law of sin is working in you. But the law of life can set you free now. Where you are. If only according to the message of yesterday morning, you can humble yourself. And give your life to Jesus and be born again. The greatest life is the life of one who is born again. And you are here. You are already dating an unbeliever. He may be in another university. And he say he's reading mercy. You know he's not a child of God. Even sometimes he could even be a Muslim. If your name was in the book of life, the Lord will throw it out. When you want to make God to become Satan in law, It's a serious matter. Look, after marriage, most of the things you see will evaporate. Um, look, I am at the better position to tell you. For nine years that I was born again, I have not married. So that will show you that I've been born again for a long time. And I married as a Christian. And I've been a pastor for more than, for almost 36 years now. That I'll be a pastor. Shout hallelujah. I have cancer. 
and cancer. And I've seen that the best thing is that be a Christian. Don't cut corner. Physical things. They will fade away. Beauty will disappear. The lady you see as a tiny broom today. After the first child can blow up. I become out of size. I said, my God. I never, I never thought I would marry a mass. If you marry the will of God, you marry a child of God, and that is the foundation of your life. It doesn't matter the shape. It doesn't matter. Amen. You need God to deliver you from it. The man can be nice. There is no nice unbeliever. If I don't believe it's nice, he's looking for something. After he get it, he become unnice again. Is somebody hearing me? So this morning, I want to pray with you. If you know, or maybe you want to recommit your life afresh. You want to be a serious Christian. One of my daughters was kidnapped by ritualists. At that time, she was just finishing her last paper in a um, university. In a kitty there. Um, I don't know what they call it now. You nod. They have changed it now. Okay. He was, she was dropping the lap. They said, call me. So, she was there. So, why they were going? She, she was coming to Akure. But, they just ran to another road. He said, where are you going? This is not the way. They pull out gun. She just take her. No what? Oh yeah, good. And they were going. They were going for about three hours. Eventually, they branch into the bush. And when they got there, come and see head of human being. And this sister is so light in complexion. You think that she's a white girl? Evil man that normally slaughtered them came out of the bush. He just do like this. Ah! You guys, who asked you to go and bring this one? This one is some key level. Yeah, can't you see? Can't you see? She may have told you don't bring the head of people to me again. Now, return her to where you are picker. They said, we are not going to return her. You will enter, you cannot come out of it. Suppose she's like some of you. That Christianity by mouth. Christianity by name. <laughs> Christianity by whatever anything. But it's not in the heart. A lot of people are dying every day. So I want you to have the real one. Close your eyes and say, Jesus, come to my heart. Open your mouth and pray. Ma, 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 ma. In Jesus, now we pray. What I say yesterday morning is that God does not condemn a person because he has sinned. But as he repents and confesses and admits that God will show us, the Lord of God is so very good. If you know you want to give your life to Jesus, I want you to pray with you. It's fine. 
And the trumpet sound we meet in heaven. Am I right? So, but my own altar call is unique for one reason. There has always been altar calls upon altar call. I know you have been expecting it, but the only thing is that the power of sin will be broken in your life if you come forward. You will struggle not to get angry. Are you free from anger? Are you free from lust? Are you not feeding on pornography? I've not permitted to sit down, please. As I'm still here, I'm still in charge. When I come down, it's not a shy play. That is the reason many things are not working for you. That's why you pray in the name of Jesus. That there's, there's no answer. Get it. The strength is from inside. So join them. I want to pray for you. So that the Lord will forgive you. The Lord will destroy the power of sin in your life. And you'll be free. I admit all that I've done. But I plead for mercy. That you forgive me this hour. Begin to pray. Begin to thank God. The Lord will have mercy. What they call it? Sass. To collect money. That's what you do all about. Join us here. There's a deliverance for you this morning. Masaka yara baba ba. Rekoso ko yara baba. I come in the spirit of Zion now. Out. Makabu ya masaka yara baba. In the spirit of lust. I break your power. 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 Lose your grip now. Makabu ya masaka yara baba. Jesus, then just say after me, Lord Jesus, I come to you. I acknowledge my sin. I'm sorry. Forgive me all my sin and cleanse me with the precious blood of Jesus. Holy Spirit, come into my heart as from today. And strengthen me. Not go back to sin. Lord Jesus. Today. I accept you. As my Lord. And my Savior. And I promise. Never to turn back. Thank you because you are forgiving me. In the name of Jesus. I want to pray for you. Place your hand upon your chest. And I know you know. That every sin is controlled by demons. The prince of the powers of the air. The spirit that now walketh in the children of disobedience. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for this, your precious people. Lord, I'm asking that every sin they have ever committed, that the enemy is challenging their conscience, pricking their conscience. Watch it, watch them away, man, in Jesus' name. Cover their sin under the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Watch away their sin in the name of Jesus. And I come against every spirit of sin. I break your power. I break your heart. Lose your grip now. In the name of Jesus. Open everyone here. Lose your grip. Lose your grip. Lose your grip. Lose your grip. Cry out in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of immorality. I break your power. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit.
spirit of sexual perversion, I break your power in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of loss, I break your power in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of bad habit, I break your power in the name of Jesus. You are free. I say you are free. I declare you free. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Yes, you live in sin. Has no record. Pay attention here. Because I see, uh, I saw some few people going back to their place. When I say go out, they move back. You don't know what we are talking about. Is the day to be celebrated? The day to be celebrated. Listen. Is there any shame in it? How about I come out from other cup before I became born again? Is the day to be if you want to do it is that day you are to celebrate that God will be happy. But the day you are born to sin. Eh? You don't know the day you were born, though. No? I know my own day that I was born. That name is called Wonderful. The Lord wants to start from your life now. So I'm going to pray for you. Deliverance is part of our crusade. But in this one, because of the factors, we may not proceed on that because it takes a long time. Some of you can be on the ground for six hours. But we will not do that. I only pray a prayer of authority and the yoke will be broken. But you need healing. You need miracles. That's one. Then two, the prayer has been delayed since yesterday. That the mighty hand of God will rest upon your brain. Amen. It is the spirit of God that brings about. You see, the word revelation is not only in the spiritual realm, even in the secular realm. In the city of London, when a black man is riding a car, an, Af an average white person is angry. We are known to be consumers. We cannot produce anything. Look at all that we are using a microphone, loudspeaker, everything, uh, handset. Which one have we done? Even the musical instrument. Why are we backward? Now, the spirit of God wants to be going in that dimension. That creativity. Innovation. We'll be coming from Africa. In the name of Jesus. Sometimes, if you travel, you won't be angry with people like Trump. You won't be angry with a typical white and colorless animal. I mean, even around you, if somebody is, he doesn't produce anything, he's only just to be eating and eating and eating. You can give him any name. Am I right? So, in this auditorium today, Something is happening. Jesus. You are not here for certificate. You are here to encounter the spirit of God. And you encounter it. And I want to hear your testimony years later. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's time for Africa to take over. And ordinary Africa cannot take over if they are not Christian. Do you know the leading nation in computer, America, software, is because of their Christian background. Only Spirit of God radiates this thing into people's life. So I'm praying it down over your life today. But before I do that, if you are sick, lay your hand upon yourself. 
already have told you that there is no sickness drug can cure. If we manage you, so because you are six, at, at your age now, if you are living on drugs, when you are 60, what will you do? If somebody is living on drugs at the age of 25, at the age of 18, they say you have asthma. Ah. The Lord is taking a healer from you today. Yeah. And you'll be healed instantly. Part of sickness is that if you cannot see well, you triple it. By the time you are 70, they say they don't have your glass again. Jesus will touch your eyes now. Yeah. Yesterday morning, there were people with choice sightedness. Am I right? Who cannot, even there was somebody who said he cannot see at a short distance. And the Lord remove it. So it is your turn now. Close your eyes. I'm expecting an instant healing. Father, in the name of Jesus, give me a good amen. When I mention that name, there is a person behind the name. Father, in the name of Jesus, I command every spirit of infirmity. I bind you. Come out in the name of Jesus. Spirit of infirmity in everybody that is here. I command you, come out in the name of Jesus. Demons of blindness, I bind you, come out of Jesus' name. Demons of deadness, I bind you, come out of Jesus' name. Demons of heart problem, kidney problem, demons of asthma, demons of sugar diabetes, I bind you. I command the healing anointing to flow into everybody here in the name of Jesus. Be healed. Every heart failure, every kidney failure, every lung problem, I cancel it in Jesus' name. I cancel every ulcer in Jesus' name. I cancel every asthma in Jesus' name. Wherever there is a growth, I command the growth to met in Jesus' name. As a young girl, they said there is a fibro in you. I command the fibro met away in Jesus' name. Everything hiding in your body, in your armpit, anywhere in part of your body, come out in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. That migraine, I bind you. Come out in Jesus' name. That pain in your tummy, I command you. Come out in Jesus' name. You are healed. It's gone. The migraine is gone. The pain is gone. The pain is gone. I say it's gone. In the name of Jesus. If you believe this, don't say Amen. There is power, power. Wait, 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 wait. What? Wave your hand. Wave your hand. Hand, wave your hand in Jesus' name. Because of our time, I cover your testimony with the blood of Jesus. But hold on, you are not coming out today. I don't have the time. I'm having a meeting at the next town very shortly. But let me just seal your testimony with the blood. If you know you are healed as I prayed. You are healed. You have shake it up. Let me see your right hand. Wow. 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 Put your hands together for Jesus. Put it together. Put it together. Put it together. Shout hallelujah. 
Amen. I want to pray for you now. I don't know how I can make myself to be well understood. Because, hold on. You need the prayer. Don't beat anything. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? You wonder why we pray for 1,000. Only 10 people receive. Because they don't key into the prayer. I want you to key into it. Lisa Dewu was not a scientist. Something dropped on him. Are you hearing me? Yes. Michael Faraday did not have a degree. Bill Gates was a dropout in the university. Something will enter into you now. In that dream, I will see why in the physical I don't think I've ever seen a white man. I was so young. I will see they will come in the dream. They begin to assemble a wrong plane, part by part, by by part, until it will now fly. Not once, not twice, repeatedly. But when I was growing up, I began to commit sin. Terrible ones. That was the last time I saw the dream. There is nothing good you see here that is not from above. Every good thing is what? I don't know in, in your feet. God will come to you and give you an idea. is shrouded in idolatry. Shrouded in witchcraft. Shrouded in darkness that cover our God-given intellects that make Africa to become backward over everyone under the sound of my voice by the anointing. Break in the name of Jesus. Every power that cover your creativity, that cover that God-given ability to create, to innovate, that make us not to think, that make us just to remain blank. I break it in the name of Jesus. I break it in the name of Jesus. I break it in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray. In the beginning, God created. So you are a creator. By your spirit. I command the same power. To rest upon everyone here now. In Jesus name. Receive insight. Receive insight. Receive insight. Receive creativity. Receive it in the name of Jesus. From this moment, ideas that will turn your generation around, ideas that will put your name on the sand of time, receive it in Jesus' name. Receive it in Jesus' name. Receive in Jesus' name. From this moment, the Lord will begin to visit you. You will dream. The right dream. In the name of Jesus.
before I brought the mic, if because you have been faithful, some of us were there day before yesterday, yesterday, today, and you have exam. I command in the name of Jesus, as you write your exam this time around, it will be the best in the name of Jesus. Those who are in the house, they are making just of you. They said, don't mind him. He said of him, he spoke. By the spirit of the Lord, I command, as you go to the exam room, that the Lord will open you up. And you will excel. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name I pray.